Good evening. Armed with a gun inside the cafeteria. It's what police say a teacher at Woodward High School saw just moments before the campus went on lockdown. They say two separate guns were spotted, and tonight only one's been found. Investigators are now searching for the teen who they say started it all. Nine on your side's John Genovese spoke with students who were inside as it all unfolded. He joins us live from the high school where the investigation stands right now. John? Well, you can imagine many people still on edge that something like this would happen. One teen is behind bars tonight. We just got a hold of the arrest report. It shows he was also found with more than seven grams of marijuana. Police still searching for another student and many questions as to how those guns wound up on campus in the first place. Officers surrounding every entrance. Uh, it was pretty scary, you know, a lot of police cars outside. The kids and teachers inside doing their best to stay calm. They locked the doors, like, so I'm pretty sure I'm kind of happy nobody could come in the room. For more than an hour, Woodward High School was on lockdown. Very scary incident, uh, excellent response uh, by both the school officials and the police. We rapidly evolving situation and uh, no one injured. It began in the cafeteria. Police say a teacher spotted a kid with a gun, then called for help. School resource officer and an off-duty detail officer uh, knows the uh, juvenile that we're talking about, and as they approached, the, uh, the kid took off running uh, throughout the school and then made an exit. They say surveillance video shows him walking calmly across the street, but as investigators scoured the campus, a separate weapon they weren't expecting. We found a recovery a weapon, a 38 revolver and a school bag. Uh, unfortunately, that gun was not connected to the young man they were talking about. That backpack belongs to a 16-year-old who school officials say is now behind bars. The other students still nowhere to be found. At this time, we have our violent crime squad um, investigating the situation and, and trying to find this young man. All part of a situation that all things considered could have ended much different. The police and the uh, teachers acted very quickly and uh, put the student uh, body inside individual rooms with the teacher assigned to each room and on lockdown. It was uh, picture perfect on how these things are supposed to go. And again, police say they know who that young man is and they say they have an idea where he may be heading. Now, as for that 16 year old, he's scheduled to appear in juvenile court tomorrow morning. So we plan to learn a lot more about this entire situation in the coming days. But for now, reporting live, John Genovese 9 on your side. John, thank you.